Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install WordPress on Namecheap shared hosting. So let's get started. So at first we are going to log into our Namecheap account. From the top menu we are going to click on account and then click on dashboard. Here we need to enter our Namecheap account username and password and then click on sign in and continue. So at first we are going to configure our domain name with our web hosting. If your domain name is already configured with your web hosting, then you can skip this step. Now from the Namecheap dashboard, just click on domain list. Next to your domain name, you will see a manage button. Click on it. Now scroll down a little bit and here you will see name servers section. Next to it, you will see a drop down. Just click on it. When you will purchase domain from Namecheap, by default, it is selected to Namecheap basic DNS and we have to change it to Namecheap web hosting DNS. So we are going to click this one and in this way, our domain will be configured with our web hosting. And now we are going to install WordPress on our shared hosting. From the Namecheap account, we are going to click on hosting list. And next to our hosting, we will see a go to cPanel button. Just click on it. And this will take us to our cPanel account. Now from the cPanel account dashboard, we are going to scroll down to software section. And then we are going to select WordPress manager by soft tackless. Now click on install button from the top. And now from here, we are going to install WordPress on our shared hosting. So scroll down a little bit. At first, we are going to choose domain and its protocol. If you have multiple domain names on your web hosting, then just click on this drop down button and then select the domain name from your drop down. As I have only one domain which is already selected. Now click on this choose protocol drop down. And from here, we are going to select HTTPS. You can only select HTTPS if you have purchased SSL from the web hosting provider. SSL will show this lock icon on your website and when someone will click on it, it will show connection is secure. So next is in directory. If you want to install WordPress on your main domain, then you can leave this tab blank. But WordPress is already installed on my main domain. So I am going to install WordPress in the directory. Here I will give it a name. And then from the next section, you can choose the version of your WordPress. We will go with the latest one, which is 6.1.1. Next is admin account setup. From here, we are going to set up admin account for our WordPress website. And this admin account will be used to later on to access the WordPress dashboard. Here you need to enter your admin username, admin password and admin email. So I am going to quickly enter my details and then we will go to the next step. You can choose your WordPress website language from here, but we are going to leave it as it is because we can easily do it from the WordPress dashboard. Next is select plugins section. If you want to install any of these plugins, just click on this checkbox and the plugin will be installed on your WordPress website. But I am going to uncheck all of them because we can easily install these plugins from the WordPress dashboard. Now we are going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and then click on install. As you can see that WordPress is successfully installed on our Namecheap shared hosting. So now if you want to visit the website, just click on this first link and it will take you to the website. So this is the website that we have just created. Now we will go back to the cPanel account. And if you want to access the WordPress dashboard, then just click on this second link. And this will take you to the WordPress dashboard. And from here you can do all the settings for your website. Like you can install new plugins, you can install new themes or you can do other settings as well. So this is how you can install WordPress on Namecheap shared hosting. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to me.